Okay, so like I said in the last video, what we're doing for this piece is we're making some coasters. Now, I've already gone ahead and glued up the bases of the coasters, which is these three bits of oak here. Um, two darker pieces on the outside and a lighter piece in the middle. This is about 90mm in width, so I'm going to make basically 9cm squared uh, coasters. Um, what I'm also going to do is I'm gonna, I've already written down these um, pieces of mahogany strips here, so what I'm going to do is when they're cut into 9cm squares, to strengthen the actual um, three pieces of wood that are stuck together um, as a butt joint, what I'm going to do to strengthen that and for a decoration, I'm going to each one's going to have this um, piece here inlaid into it. Uh, so basically, you're gonna, I'm going to wrap out a section uh, in the middle of each coaster, and I'm just going to inlay this piece like that, and it should look quite nice. Also, for the <coughs> for the um, uh, stand for the coasters, I've got this piece of lilac here. I've got quite few bits of like that um, from my from a friend's uh, tree uh, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these two bits of outer parts here where I've already stripped the bark off and sanded it down uh, they're going to sit side by side like so and uh, have a base of oak on the bottom to match the coasters um, and then the uh, coasters are literally just going to slide in between them and you can just lift them out either side and that should look quite nice <laughs> Okay, so that's all six coasters cut down to size, planed off to size. All we have to do now is, uh, obviously that's a, uh, a test run, so all we have to do now is uh, put five across the rabs table, uh, put the ins glue the insert in, and then uh, sand it all down flush. Um, a little thing here that I've just realised as well, so I've got this little bit of weird straight off cut from my uh, coasters and I think when you've got little bits like this why not try and think of a, a kind of a random little side project to do in, in the meantime of maybe you know stuff gluing and drying or or um, uh, varnish drying or whatever and for this I'm actually decided I'm going to make a uh, type of spatula uh, for cooking like doing stir fries and stuff um, so I'll, in, a, in a minute while I, after I've glued all these little inserts in I'll, um, I'll get on with that and it'll be a nice little uh, side project to this project uh, and a little piece in the video, so that'd be quite nice. Uh, so what we're going to do now is get on the rash table. Okay, so like I said before, I've uh, already taken the bark off and sanded down the two outer pieces to the stand. These two pieces of lilac here, see that grain, that slight purple effect in it, it's absolutely beautiful. And they're going to be the two uh, sides to the stand like so, uh, and then obviously the coasters are going to slide in between like that. What I've gone ahead and done is I've already taken this chunk of oak here, uh, which is going to be the base. Uh, I've already started um, marking it out and cutting around um, where the ends are going to go. Uh, I've just got to do a little bit more cutting and some filing to get it right properly into shape. Uh, basically, <coughs> excuse me, that's how it's going to go. You're going to have to stand the base, the two sides, and then the uh, coaster is going to fit nice and snug in there. Uh, I do have to take off some up the top here because it seems, tends to taper in a little bit, and obviously, uh, if you want to slide them up they're going to get caught, so I'm going to have to adjust that slightly. Uh, but what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to, uh, just start shaping this uh, a bit better to what it's supposed to be. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just lining it up with a clamp. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line it up, put a self-tapping screw through, and then I'm going to uh, take it back out, countersink it, and then glue it on. Uh, and put the screw back in. And I'll do that for both sides. What I'm going to do now is just bevel off these corners. I need the top edge, don't want the bottom edge. I want to keep that nice and flat uh, so it sits on the table nicely all the way around. So I've already done one here 
It's just basically a case of running the, sand, the power sander across it a few times just to take the edge off. Okay, so that's all I've got time for this Christmas. Um, I haven't completed, well, I haven't uh, put the finish on these coaches yet because uh, I just need to get this wrapped up, to be honest. But I've got three completed here, three still gluing over there. Uh, these ones are completely finished in terms of uh, sanding it down with the edges beveled off, uh, inserts in and everything. And obviously, I've uh, got the stand completed apart again, again, apart from the um, varnish put on top there. Um, you can obviously go ahead and do put any finisher you want on it. Uh, I've decided I'm going to use my trusty uh, EK varnish um, purely because it's non-yellowing um, and it's actually heat resistant, obviously good for coasters, good hot cups, um, and it's a nice clear, gives a nice clear gloss. Uh, it's a bit of a different project this time obviously because I'm using uh, some natural wood, uh, having, the, having the bark quite exposed there or the, well, stripped off and kind of just sanded down but it's still slightly part of the bark, uh, but having it exposed there uh, it's a bit different, it's quite nice, it makes it quite rustic. I don't know if you can see the lovely lilac that comes in comes in on this wood. Beautiful wood really, it's a really tough wood, but it's, a, it's not bad to work with, but it's an absolutely stunning uh, grain to it. I uh, really enjoy it, I've got a lot more of it down there, so don't be surprised if you see it in uh, future projects. This particular project has been um, a real enjoyment for me to make, uh, mostly because I've been using my router table and uh, I've really enjoyed using that and I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of it in the, in the very near future, uh, so don't be surprised if you see me using it all the time to be honest. Uh, it's been interesting, slightly different, um, obviously because it's rustic and I, I really enjoyed um, creating something that's um, got that natural feel about it. And to be honest, I think it's actually a rather nice set of coasters. I'm also almost tempted to keep them myself, but I've actually made them for someone and I think they're pretty much expecting them. So I hope you've enjoyed these Christmas projects. I'm um, cutting it a bit close, obviously, because it's nearly New Year's now, uh, but it still comes in the 12 days of Christmas, so I'm still in there slightly. Um, but I hope you have enjoyed these projects. I know I have. Um, the table was uh, quite a big achievement for me. I think that came out really nice. It's quite a simple design, but um, it took a lot of hours to do, really, purely because of the, the cross legs and the uh, the type of top that it was, and it just you know a lot of planing. It just took quite quite. It was just quite time consuming, um, but I did enjoy it. And my mum absolutely loves it. That's who it went to in the end, um, and it, it really did come out really nice. So to all of you who's been watching or has watched my videos in the past, and particularly to the subscribers, um, thank you so much. It's been um, it's actually been quite a good year so far uh, in terms of woodwork. I've not got as many videos uh, uploaded as I'd like to have done. Um, there's a couple of projects that uh, I really wish I'd filmed and put on as much of this workbench for my girlfriend's um, sewing box, but unfortunately I didn't film them, um, so they, they didn't end up going on uh, to YouTube. However, um, it, like I say, it has been a, uh, quite a nice year for the different things that I've made, um, and there's going to be lots more uh, coming up next year and in the near future. So um, again, thank you for watching and. Um, Hope you all had a good Christmas and I uh, wish you all a happy new year. Take care, see you next time.